I am sitting here the Friday before our wedding, and all I can think about is how grateful I am for you. When you stumbled into my life seven years ago, I had no idea how my life would change. In a matter of months, you became my best friend, and I never doubted that we would end up married. Mads. <laughs> I'm so unbelievably lucky to be marrying my best friend. I love how ambitious you are, how you're always down for adventures, and how you make me a better person. I can't wait to continue spending the rest of my life with you, having even more adventures. I am so excited to start our married life together. If the past seven years gives me a sneak peek to the rest of our lives, I know we're going to have the best life together. I love you so much. Mads. I promise to always make sure you have your morning coffee. I promise to pick you up when you fall. Most of all, I promise to always love you. Jax. One day during quarantine, we were all bored out of our minds, and I asked the question of how they met because for some reason I had never heard it. Madeline explained to me that they met at a friend's dorm before they were going to go out that night. They talked a bit, but Madeline said she didn't think much about it besides the fact that she was thinking, wow, that guy is cute. Jager admitted to me that night, and for the first time to Madeline, that he decided to go on a run, shirtless, past Madeline's dorm on the off chance that Madeline would see him. <laughs> Madeline ended up walking out of her dorm the exact moment Jager ran by. She said she had the thought, dang, that guy is cute. His profile picture must just be weird. So goes to you all. Thank you all for being the best groomsmen and best men that I could ever want. We love you, Jager. I've come to a revelation about Jager that I'd like to share with everybody. Um, Jager is actually very fun at parties. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Jager, he's the worst. He hates fun. That's not true. Um, coming back, another party we threw. My roommates and I threw this party. It was getting way out of hand. There were way too many people there. Um, which happened a lot. Um, and uh, uh, while my roommate and I tried to handle some internal issues, I asked Jager to hop outside and start bouncing people. So just start turning them away. Jager's got the size for it, so it's perfect. Um, so he gets outside and he attacked this task with such enthusiasm and such vigor that you turned away my best friend in the Glee Club. You, tur you almost turned away my actual roommate. And you, you, and you turned away my girlfriend and now fiance. <laughs> Oh, very good at your job, Jager. So he's, he's always got your back.
So there are many traditions here at Notre Dame, and we call these Notre Dame moments, right? And I've had many Notre Dame moments in my life, so has my family. So one example of a Notre Dame moment was, and I'm not sure if I have this right, but Madeline and Jager first met and apparently fell in love at first sight somewhere around here, right? Um, so today was another Notre Dame moment for me. That's when I saw, which could only be explained as pure joy on the faces of Madeline and Jager when they made their vows during an incredible mass, right? Jagger and Madeline, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your family and friends as today, in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. So Jagger and Madeline, I'd like for you to face your family members and your friends. And with my friends, with great joy and with great delight, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Scholes. past few years, I've come to know Jager on a better level, and honestly, there's nobody else on this planet I'd want to marry my best friend. I love you two more than you'll ever know. Here's to the beautiful bride, and everyone someday finding their own Jager. The moment that truly made me know that you two were perfect for each other was in that parking lot as, um, as we were going back to our cars, we were saying our goodbyes. 
heading back to Notre Dame, but Madeline was staring at Jagger. With the most sincere smile on your face, we knew in, I, I knew in that moment that she was staring at you, that she was sharing this level of integrity that I had always aspired to have in the friends that I have in my life. To integrity and the partying. Have a great day.